uh, installing a sound system on this bird. This is the uh, F7F Tiger Cat slash Dash 3. Um, but I'm got it all together before and I'm looking at it and thinking, well, you know, I'm putting, gonna put some lights on it, not too many, just uh, a few to complement. I'd like something on the bottom and the back to mark, to mark the back. If I so, I see if it's coming or going. If I get it out too far, I'll see the uh, a blue. I think I'm gonna use blue or red. I'm not sure yet in the back, and uh, probably red or I'm thinking maybe even a white in the front, uh, because the only other time you'll see lights on this thing is when the gear is down, uh, except for maybe the sides if you get the right angle. But I would like something from the bottom to be able to identify it, see it a little bit better. Uh, it is a darker color blue, and with the skies around here the way it is uh, around this area, we don't always get the perfect days for, for visibility. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a sound system in here, and what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the speakers in the nacelles. They seem to be about the best spot, and I found a place where the wheels will go up and down, actually. Here, I'll give you a look here. Um, I'm using the ESS... Uh, engine sound system for this thing. Now I also have some lights ordered. They're actually made for a quadcopter because I didn't want the whole aircraft high power light system but I wanted some of the things and I wanted a flasher that was variable speed. And this quadcopter pack package has three watt uh, LEDs um, but it also has an adjustable flash so I'll be able to get, set the strobes up at the, at the bottom of the plane pretty well. But anyway I've put the uh, speakers, the transducers, on both the cells on, on each side here and the wires just conveniently run right through and, and I had to make an extension. Uh, I made myself a little power pack so I could test things before I install them and make sure I had continuity but I had to make an extension of leads between the speakers and the module that we'll be using for the sound which is right here. Okay and that's a Sense ESS Air uh, sound. I've got loaded on here right now. I've got a uh, Wildcat sound and I believe a BF-109. I'm going to go search and see if I can't find the Wildcat or, or there is a Wildcat uh, but I'm going to see if I can find a tire, Tiger Cat or at least a, a good uh, set of twin, end, uh, twin Wasp engines like would be on this plane. So anyway I've got the extensions running here. Here's the other one right here I had to hook up and just run through the nacelle and now I'm just going to run it up right up and through under here and right into the right into the main part of the, the fuselage and it just actually just slide just runs right in there real easy and came out the bottom here like this one did okay so I'm gonna get this thing together and we'll give you a, a show of how it sounds when I put it together and then uh, when we come back also I'm gonna be doing the lights on this thing and we'll show you how I do that and, and where I put them so I'll be leaving this open for a while because I may be doing some lighting and I may run a couple of accent lights up underneath the doors in here uh, just to give a little ground effect it look kind of cool when it's sitting and uh, you know obviously when it's flying the doors will be shut you probably won't see much but when the doors open it'll be a kind of a cool I'm not sure blue lights or, or what I'm gonna use under there something not too not too gaudy not too uh, not too distinctive I don't want to take away from the airplane but uh, just for vis uh, visibility be kind of nice all right hold tight guys I'm gonna throw this thing together and we'll come back and, and check out the sound and uh, then after that, we'll be doing on the, on the lights. I'll give you a final look at this bird when it's completely 100% finished. Right now, all the rates and throws and, and connecting uh, control surfaces are all hooked up. So uh, this is part one. And uh, when you come back for part two, it'll be the sound check and probably putting the lights on. Hey, guys. Okay, just taking the props off of this thing. We've got the speakers installed in the rear of the nacelles like you saw. And I've got the wires all run forward here, and now we're just simply going to install this unit. And this is pretty simple. Now, I've left the wires out here, so it's real easy to get, and we'll just tuck them up and roll them nicely into the back. But I wanted to have enough access, so if I needed to work away from this or run a cord in here and plug into the computer, because I've uploaded now the Wildcat and the BF-109, and then I'm going to practice around with a couple of the other ones and see if... Uh, and I think there should be something else out there I could even buy if they don't have a, a, the, the twin engine. They've got a, a Strato Fortress and a, a, a B-25 bomber, but it doesn't sound all that great, I didn't think. And it didn't sound like this one really sounds in real life. Uh, but the two I picked actually have kind of a, a similar sound to the real bird. And let's see if I get this. Okay, we just hook these up to the one side to the other doesn't really matter. It's not stereo, but it is two speakers. I 
I think this thing's going to be pretty cool once I get the lights and stuff going on it. Again, it's not going to be gaudy. I'm not going to have a ton of them on there, not like some of the other bigger planes. Uh, just enough for the accent and actual visibility so I can see it, knowing if, it, if it's coming or going. You know, sometimes you let them get out there a little too far and say, is it coming or going? you got to do a left or a right to see which way it goes. Get your orientation back. That's happened not too often, but it does happen. So anyway, I'm just going to tuck this stuff down in here. Let me get a closer up view here for you guys. Mind my hand. That should do. You should be able to see what I'm doing here. The lighting is good enough. I've got the overhead light going. So anyway, I'm just hooking this thing up here. Uh, the sound module and the only thing left here is the this is an auxiliary lead right here I'm not going to use that because I don't have a seventh channel on my receiver in here All I've got are six channel receivers that I've been using lately I'd like to get something a little bit more if I want to put more stuff on here but uh, uh, for now this would be just fine just with the throttle sound or the engine sound I don't need the guns and the stuff like that that it has uh, so get this and I'm going to be using an external battery to compensate uh, the weight for the speakers in the back, I'm going to put a 12 cell or, or three, <clears throat> sorry, a 12 volt three cell here up in the front, uh, just just up here behind the battery. That with the unit should be about the same weight. I kind of weighed them on a scale before. Is uh, enough to put over the center of gravity and try to offset that, so we don't have to slide batteries around too much. All right, now I just need my. This is, this is not the battery I'm going to use, but this is a nice little great battery for this ter type of purpose. It's a three cell. It's really a transmitter battery, but uh, it's got all the connectors on it that you would need if you were hooking up something like this. So I'm going to plug this in. And now I've already done a calibration on the module, so it should be ready set to go. Uh, you just do a low-end calibration, you press the button once, you press it a long time once, you get this tone, and then it's in calibration mode. Press the button once with your throttle in low position, and then it'll beep, and then you raise it up to the high position, press it again, and then you wait, and it'll go beep, 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 and a long tone again, and it's ready to go. It'll start up, and then you just drop your throttle trim to actually cut the engine. That way it doesn't cut on you in flight while you're, while you're flying. In theory, we don't know. Let's see, make sure it works, right? And that's, that's, is this the one I'm not using? This is the, this is my throttle. Okay, stand up here. I'm go up here to the receiver. And I've wired in a Y to the throttle connection. And we're simply going to plug those in together here so we're hooked in with the module and the throttle from the ESCs. And tuck this now. This is going to be a much neater job when I'm done with it, guys. But for right now, I just need to get at everything in case I have to get everything uh, at anything. You know, it, it sucks when you put everything all in and it tucks it, tuck it nice and neat, and, and then uh, you got to get at it and uh, something's not right, something doesn't work right, and you've got to do it all over again. So I usually just go through this stage. It looks a little messy at first, but uh, but uh, here, sorry about that. I'll let you see a little bit more here. Uh, but I usually like to make sure everything's working before I tuck it all nice and nice and neat. So, you know, power on my radio here. Now again, I've got the props removed for the uh, purpose of calibration, guys, and for a, a demo for you so you can see it and it won't fly off my table. That's happened before. Jeez, that made me jump. <laughs> Speakers work. <laughs> Now what I just did was, uh, and I'll show you guys, here was, uh, um, I used the throttle position here, the throttle trim, to actually cut the engine. Now I can advance it up to here. I was going to say, <laughs> I can advance the throttle trim, usually all the way up to, make sure your position isn't down. Uh, all the way up to that point when you want to take off and with a
okay, I see when I land, I'm going to have to, and I want the engine to quit, I'm just going to have to toggle that down a few notches, and that's going to be about it. Otherwise, it should just even work like this. And then it will go off on its own without having to toggle that switch. So if you trim it down to where the noise goes off and just leave it there, you'll be able to fly like normal. You'll still have your full route, uh, throttle range and everything, and it won't affect the way it takes off. Okay, so let's put this thing together and let you take a look at it and, and see how it sounds. And uh, hold tight. Be right back. Okay, guys. Ready for a demonstration? I'm going to leave the props off out of, uh, for safety's sake. But we've got it back together, buttoned up. The uh, uh, Everything works on the thing. It, it looks pretty nice uh, from underneath. You can't really see it. I haven't put the panels uh, in under there yet because I'm going to put, like I said, a couple of lights on here and I'm, I'm kicking around the idea of a couple of inside lights inside the nacelle since I've got such access right now. Uh, accent that. I might even run a little little ambient lighting behind the motors or something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we want what well, not want to get too fancy with it, right? But uh, gear and everything works on this plane. I haven't really given you guys a full, full view of this thing. But everything looks pretty good. Now this is the scheme that I went with as far as the uh, decals and stuff, guys. You know, I hope you can see this. And I'll turn it around again for you. Uh, kind of Marines, I added a little bit of extra, uh, just these up here next to that. That one star looked a little plain and lonely over there, so we gave it a little extra. But yeah, this side too. And then the underside of the wings, we've got the, uh, the different colors. But yeah, I think it needs just a touch more lighting and at least make it more visible in the air. But uh, check out the sound now, okay guys? This is kind of neat. And uh, With the props going, this might be a kind of a cool, cool, cool sound all together. Hope you enjoyed it guys. I'll be back when I get the lights done and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do and uh, it's free. Uh, if, if not, just simple thumbs up if you like this. If not, leave it be. Thank you. Have a good day.